All right, K-State Online here with a uh, special guest, Selton Miguel, 2020 commit for the Wildcats. Hey, this is a big, big class for you guys. A lot of newcomers coming in. And hey, you know, you're a leader, Selton, so, so take me through what, which, what's going through your mind when it comes to this K-State team. What comes to my mind, we got a lot of talent this year, this class 2020. I feel like we got every piece this year, so I'm really um, excited for this year. I can't wait. Um, is that a lot of people that don't believe in us because we're young? Mm -hmm. But like I said, I talk to them every day. We talk every day. We got a group chat. We be on the phone every day. We just ready to go. Stay humble. Work hard. Trying to get stronger. Trying to get better each and every day. And then from there, see what we can do. And I feel like I'm really excited because it's not just about the talent, but it's about like the way we like, we're so close. We're not even in school yet, but like we talk almost every day. And uh, I hope we do that when we get in school too. So we need a team chemistry. But yeah, I'm really excited about this year. Yeah, so obviously coaches got you with this quarantine stuff going on, on uh, Zoom yeah. calls and stuff like that. So I know you did some of that today. So take me through what those are like when you, when you get to talk with the, the coaches and the teammates and stuff like that? Uh, it's really a fun experience because I feel like we already family already. Yeah. So, I mean, we talk about everything. We not just talk about basketball. We talk about life in general. So that's why when we coach call, them, them Zoom calls is really, really important. So that's why we got to listen to it and just – <laughs> I don't even know, but just like, I just feel like it's, it's a family already. Yeah. So what do you, what have you been, what have you been doing with this quarantine stuff and obviously the virus going on? Obviously, not much you can do. You've been bunkering at home. You've been trying to get out and playing some basketball at all, or what? Yeah. Uh, I'm still doing my rehab, my hand. Yep. We got two more weeks. Okay. It's gonna be clear. Mm -hmm. Two, three more weeks until I be clear. Um, just be running outside. I got a vert max in the garage. Just being vert max because I can do much because of quarantine. But trying to just stay in shape until I get there. How's the hand feeling right now? Feeling good. Feeling good. Still a little bit of pain, but we working yeah. on. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so obviously, hey, big season for you at West Oaks. I mean, one of the best seasons ever at West yeah. Oaks. I mean, take me through that and and what you were able to do as a as a leader of that team. Uh, I can explain it to you. Nobody believes in me since, like, when I was, like, a freshman, sophomore, nobody, like, nobody used to be, like, them. So, when, yeah. when you be a senior, you can take, like, you can do special things. So, this was my motivation until I, I become a senior. This was my motivation. Nobody was believing me. Nobody was putting my name in the rankings and everything. So this year, I had a conversation with my coach, Coach Kane, before the season started. It was like, you got to take your, your game to the next, next level this year. You can commit to a big school, Kansas State. So you got to, like, pull big, big, big numbers so the scouts can respect you and everything. So, I mean, that's what I, I try to do this year, just work hard, be in practice on time, be on um, workouts on time. On every game, I take game by game. That's what I tried to do this year. Um, I put up good numbers. We did a really good job because we had a good, good chemistry. Everybody was listening to the coaches. The coaches trusting us. We were trusting the coaches. Mm -hmm. That's why we had a big year. So, I mean, yeah. we did good. I mean, we beat, every, like, we beat teams that we wasn't even supposed to beat them. Mm -hmm. um, it was just a lot of things this year because – People was like, how I can say, people was putting West Oaks down and we was putting another team just because they got people with hype and everything up, like, under, like above us and everything. But when we play against them teams, we show them, like, it's not about the hype, it's about who you got on the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then especially I got the starting five of my school, nobody even, like, talk about it. People just yeah. talk about me. But, like, I give a lot of credit to my, to my uh, teammates, Bam. All my teammates, but especially the starting five, AJ, um, JJ and Tracy, another AJ, 
because like people don't give credit to them, but they're so underrated. Yeah. I don't even know how to explain that. Like sometimes some games I was off, important games I was off, and then they came right back. It was like, I'm gonna do it. If you if you can do, I'm gonna do it. Feel me? So like I give a lot of credit to these guys. It was really a fun experience playing with these guys this year. I learned a lot this year. Not just about me, but it's about about team, team chemistry and everything. But it was a fun year. We did what we had to do. People didn't believe us. Yeah. They believe us now. And then the same people they didn't believe me like uh, two, three years ago. These same people that text me right now, trying to be friend with me right now. But <laughs> yeah, it is what Move it is. Up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I guess what was um. Oh yeah. So, what do you think of Coach Henderson and and his work with you? I mean, obviously you started with Chester Frazier before he went to Virginia Tech. Yeah. Awesome coach there, but Jermaine, Coach Henderson took over. Talk about him as a person and a coach and, and how he recruited you. Uh, coach Henderson, he's a fun guy. Every time he called me, we laughing, we crack jokes. We talk about family, not just the basketball, but like life in general. Uh, the way he recruited me, uh, Coach Frazier came to my school my sophomore year when he gave me the offer. But like when he left from Virginia, Virginia Tech, as soon as he left, Coach Anderson started talking to me because Coach Frazier had left. So we just started recruiting me hard, 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 talk to me every day, make sure I'm doing good in school, make sure I'm, I'm working out. And then we had that summer. That's when I met Coach Weber in July. 10th grade year in July, yeah. Uh, since then, we just, like, talk almost every day from there. Mm-hmm. With Coach Weber, with Coach Anderson. I mean, it's just being a fun, fun experience, be around these guys, be on the phone with these guys. Because he came to my school so many times this year just to watch me practice, just to watch games. Yep. And, yeah, this half, this, this why I, I feel so comfortable around uh, Coach Anderson. I feel like I could have trust him to come to Kansas State. So he was a big influence too, Coach Anderson. Yeah. So yeah. – you obviously, I, I think you got high spirits. So you're a guy with, you know, a lot of optimism because when you broke your hand and you guys were out, you know, you ended the season, you said, okay, time to get to work. You know, let's work for K-State in the future. So yes, sir. Can you talk about your mindset with how that works and how you stay positive and, and look on to the next thing. Uh, the first thing my dad told me was like, even when things go wrong, just stay positive. So that's what I'm trying to do. Just stay positive every time, even – Lose games, win games, broken hand, don't broke hand. Um, stay injured, not stay injured, just stay got just just stay put this smile in my face. Yeah. So for this year, I'm really excited. I'm really just trying to get everybody involved, trying to get like just like building like like a family, not just on the court, but outside the court too. Because yeah. it's really important. And I'm just really excited about Kansas State. Yeah. We're excited for you too, man. Um you brought up uh, – I just want to quick say you brought up an A.J. earlier. A.J. Neal also getting recruited by K-State. Yeah. Talk about, talk about him as a player. I mean, the possibilities of – I mean, I know it's, he's a 2021, so it would be a little bit. But what's, him, what's he like as a player? Uh, A.J. AJ is a very humble person. I know people be on his head because he got – he's a junior and get out his offers and everything. But he's a really humble person. Yeah. Um, every time I told him to work hard, he's going to work hard. He don't, he don't miss practice, he don't miss workouts. He, he there every time, trying to learn more and more and more. Um, AJ tell me, I'm, he's my, like, he's, I'm, well, I can say that. Um, <laughs> like, he tell me, like, I mean, he's like, I can say that. Um, everything I do, we trying to do it. Yeah. So, like, not just on the court, but, like, even outside the court. Like, he's a, he's a really fun guy to, to be around. Um, work hard. Classroom, outside the classroom on the core. I mean, he got a high IQ, really high IQ, because last year he wasn't on the ball as much because we had Tyreel Jones. But this year he, took, he had to take his, his game to another, another level so he could compete with us and another good team like during session teams and other top teams in the country. But I feel like um, if he keep he gonna stay. West Oaks gonna be Coach Kenny because he be Coach Kenny twenty four seven. He was the best choice for him to become like 
I better play in the leader at West Stokes for next year and everything. But I feel real good about AJ. I feel like he's gonna have a good season this year coming up because he gonna he gotta I gotta lead the team this year by himself. And I feel like he will do it. And then I hope after his high school season, he can meet to a good school. And then I hope Kansas State, but if not, go somewhere and he can show his his talent. Exactly. So you're you're Angolian. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Talk about, you know, your life growing up and when you yeah. started playing basketball and everything like that because it's something, you know, we haven't really got the background on that on you yet. Got it. Uh, so I was I was born and raised in Angola, but when I was ten, I moved to Portugal. So I'm telling you my story first in Angola before I moved to Portugal. Yeah. So I stopped playing basketball when I was like six, six, seven. I didn't. I didn't. First, at first, I didn't want to play basketball because, like, in my country, all they do is just play soccer, soccer, soccer. So basketball is like the second sport, but everybody just pay attention to soccer more. So I was playing. I planned to play soccer, but like my, I was getting taller and taller and taller and taller. And my older brother was getting, he was, he was already tall. So he stopped practicing first. He went to the club because we don't do like here in America, like schools against schools. We do like clubs against clubs. Yeah, certain age. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my, my, my brother, my other brother, the one who me to Ohio University, like he, he stopped playing first. And then my dad was like, something should try. So. At first, I was like, nah, nah, I don't like basketball. It's too much contact and everything. <laughs> so I was like, but let me try. So I tried, tried, tried. The first week, I didn't like it. First week, I didn't like it. Second week, I started liking more. Third week, I started liking more. And then the first, the first game in my, in my grade was against a senior, a senior, um, a senior women's men, men's basketball. So it was, we was playing against the senior women's team, and we were like, under, I can spend to like under ten, so the whole team was like nine, ten years old playing against grown as ladies. Yeah. So yeah, so we had to pour our game in the next, next level. So I mean, I stopped liking it, and then start getting better, start getting better, start growing, start growing, and then when I was like under fourteen, before I went to Portugal, because I went to Portugal when I was like thirteen. Yeah, my last year in in Angola, I went to Portugal. Went to military school when I was 13, stayed there until, until, I, until, until I came here, my freshman year. So Portugal, I went there, went to the club called Benfica. When I did uh, three years there, I did pretty good. We won states and everything. And then that's when I, call, I got a call when I was like eighth grade. I got a call to come here because I sent my, my videos to a lot of people here and everything. Even my, my guardian was trying to help him before he become my guardian. So yeah, he's the one that helped me get here. Uh, yeah, got here. Like eighth grade year, came here, was playing over the summer. I wasn't even in school yet because I came eighth grade summer. So I stopped playing AU with Showtime Ballers before I stopped playing with uh, Breakdown. I wasn't, I wasn't good like that. I was just like six two, just bucking shots, bucking shots. Mm -hmm. People just wanted, every time we in transition, I'd be like, hey, get out of the way. I want to buck this shot. So yeah, I started getting better. And then this when I received a call, Coach Kenny say, you can come to West Oaks as a freshman. I, I went to West Oaks. You start getting better, getting better, getting better. I played JV at West Oaks my freshman year for like first semester. Because mm -hmm. people really didn't believe me. I, I used to be so mad. So like yeah, so I did good my freshman year. Cause coach, coach, one of the coaches was like, if you put him on JV, let's see what he can do before he can before he come to to varsity. So I, I was playing JV. I was having like thirty. Uh -huh. So this when Coach Kenny was like, hey, you gotta come back in ten grade and then let's let's really start working. So I came back ten grade a year. This when I like I took my my game really to to the next level and I see I see myself there like. I can't really do something basketball. Because I was like 16, 10 grade, I was like doing really good. I had on my team, I don't know if you know, but like I had a lot of good players, and I was like the third leading scorer. And a guy that just came from JV he was like the third leading scorer on the team. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just keep playing, just kept playing. Uh, junior year came, just start getting offers, start getting my name 
you know, rankings more and more, start talking to a lot of colleges, a lot of scouts, a lot of uh, schools they wanted me to leave West Stokes to go to go play for them. But no, I just think West Stokes just keep trusting the same people that trust me when I didn't have anything, like Coach Kenny and Coach Barry. West Stokes is family. West Stokes in general, my bad. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is when I get the offer, start getting the offer my junior year, start getting, like, getting on in USA. Senior year came, just had to go to work. Yeah. Yeah, and then here we are. Here we are. Let's talk about your game a little bit, obviously. I mean, so where do you see – where do you see you took that jump from, uh, from, you know, to where you're at now with your – specifically your game and your ability, yeah. you know, to, to handle the ball, attack the rim, score on all three levels and stuff like that? Uh, I see my – I see when I, I started doing that, I wasn't even, like, a good shooter until, I beca- until my senior year, until this year. Like, yeah. consistency. I, like, I could shoot, but, like, I wasn't consistent. So my game was just, like – Go to the rim every time. Go to the rim every time. Sophomore year, go to the rim every time. Yes, junior year, go to the rim every time. But this summer, in June, yeah, this summer in June, Coach Kenny was like, you know, in college, people are going to be bigger than you. You got to use both hands. You got to be able to shoot. So we just started working out hard, just so hard, so hard, so hard. June, July came. This man, Coach Weber, saw me for the first time in July. I was just like, stay, I just... Work on my shot the whole June, like every day, every single game, every single day. I would just start working my game every day. So by July of the summer, I was like kind of consistent. This is what Coach Trevor sold me and everything. And then this year, this year, the three months before the season start, I was just on the gym almost every day, every day, working my jump shot, working on my Three-point shot, work on my left hand, work on my right hand, work on my dribbling, everything. So, like, when this year came, I was just more like, like if you leave me wide open, I'm going to hit it. If you, like, you have your, your, your hand in my face, I'm still going to hit it. Because, like, the work I put in, I was like, I trust myself, the work I put in. So, I was like, I was so confident like that. That's why I was like, yeah. So, from, I feel like from sophomore year to this year, it was a big step. Because you got to stay consistent to be on the court. If you're not consistent, you're not going to be on the court. That's why Coach Kenny, every time, tell me, you got to consist- you gotta be consistent to be on the court. So, yeah, that's my mindset right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then it's, it's turned into what you got now. And now you're getting honored uh, by an Angola national team and stuff like that. What yeah. I'd like to, to be a part of that and, and, you know, be on that national level. Oh, it's pretty. It's not gonna be my first, my first time. It's gonna be my first time on the on the seniors national team. Mm-hmm. I've been in national teams for since like sixteen. I played for under under sixteen, under eighteen, under nineteen. When I played under eighteen last year, we had uh, I was named top five guard shooting guard in like the whole Africa. Yeah, and everything. So, um, what I can say? What I was about to say? I was about to say something. About Angola national team. Yeah, yeah, about Angola national team. Yeah, so it's really going to be a good experience because probably going to be the youngest player. Everybody's going to be like 28, 25. <laughs> I'm going to be at 19. So it's going to really gonna be a good experience because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to showcase my talent against NBA players. Our first game is against Slovenia, Luka Doncic. So uh-huh. I probably go, got to guard him. So it's going to be like – it's going to be fun because – I'm going to learn a lot because I'm going to be playing against pros. Yeah. So it's really going to be fun, fun to, to play for, for my country. So when does that yeah. place? Is that, is that something that's going to get rescheduled or is it going on this? Uh, we're supposed to play this in July. But my head coach from national team, he said he, they're still waiting for the FIBA to tell him if they're going to cancel or they're going to re- reschedule. We're still waiting for We don't know yet. And then uh, – when do you? Uh, I guess still, still something that's probably up in the air. But when when are you scheduled to get to campus and work out with K State and stuff like that? Soon. Yeah. Soon. Really soon. And that's and that's what we need to start talking about too. K State. Let's talk about what you're going to be doing for this team and the team around you. Just everything. First, let's start with what you want to do on the floor and out here on the. Of course. Um, I'm really like I lo- I like to score the ball. 
Yeah. I don't know if everybody knows that, but like I like score the ball. It's my main thing. I play defense too, but like come to this team, I'm just trying to like give everybody involved first. Give like see see everybody gains first before I before like everything. I respect everybody game. Um really coming this year like to make a statement because the way we did last year, everybody just I, I received so many messages every day, people just telling me like Let's go, let's go, let's go. So like this, like keep motivating me, keep motivating me. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people don't. A lot of concern is a lot of fans concerned about scoring odds because a lot of people left, Xavier left, and then Carrier left. But I feel like we got every piece this year, and I, I trust, I trust the team. We even like we didn't even start working, we not even school yet. But like I really trust this team, and then see what we can do. I guess. Uh, what do you think of the team? The team coming in. What do you? What are the things you like about the roster, and how how you think you're gonna fit in? I mean, I, I really can fit in good because the way Kansas State plays, really like the way West Oaks play, like get a rebound, push, push, push. If you see somebody pass, if, see, if you don't see, if you don't see nobody like trying to get a score, trying to get everybody involved. But like, I feel like the way Kansas State play, because Coach Weber told me like the way we play, so. There's one of the reasons too I came to Kansas State is the way they play is the way we play. So I'll be playing that on West Oak system for like four years. So I'll be gonna be used to with Coach Weber. And I feel like I mean you just gotta get there first and see mm-hmm. everybody, how everybody play, how the practice is gonna go. And then yeah, there's anything I can say. I can say much by by now. A few more questions, I guess. Coach Weber, I feel like recently he's told – talk about your guys' conversations and how much he's told you he wants you, you know, to be ready to go right away. Uh, Coach Weber just be telling me just, just, just be ready because we really need you. Because we really need you, like, your scoring ability for next year. And then just be like, just stay in shape, stay in shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't do much because my hand right now, but, like, I'm still doing it. I don't care. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, just be, he's just be telling me every day, same thing over, over, over again, just staying in the gym. Uh, they really need me ne- next year for scoring eyes, uh, trying to be a leader on the team because people last year wasn't listening too much, but like I'm trying to come here and make, make sure everybody's working, even yeah. being a freshman. Just make sure, even like, even if you're a senior, junior, I'm like, I'm still want to make sure, like, if I'm in the gym, we got to be in the gym. Yeah. Don't miss practicing and everything, like be on time, workouts, be on time for practice. Yeah, this is like, they really, Coach Weber really excited about me, Kami. He be telling me, even before he gave me the offer, he was talking to me the way I was like playing everything. Like, he was just like, we really excited about you coming to West coming to Kansas State. Just, they're he's just really excited, man. He's just anything I can say. Ready to get out of that uh, that Florida heat? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to miss the weather because I'm not going used to the cold. But, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't like cold, but I, this is what I got to do to. Hey, when you first get into town, it'll probably feel a little bit like home. It's yeah. yeah. Even, when I came, even when I came to my visit, it was a little, yep. a little yeah, it was, it was good. But by this, by like, I feel like by December, I don't know if I can do that. K-State's excited about you, man. Just talk to the fans a little bit. Tell them whatever you want and and uh, what you got to come. Um, just, y'all just be ready, man, because we, we really going to change what we did last year. We really excited. Everybody excited. Um, I'm, I'm going to do everything for Kansas State, do everything, everything I can to help Kansas State. We're going to do everything we can to change what we did last year. So. Let's make sure every home game, we got we to gotta be packed. It's not going to be like last year. Every home game, please, the fans got to be – the gym got to be packed, please. Tell That's the only thing I'm asking. Tell them. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's Celta Miguel, big-time recruit for the Cats, big-time commit coming in 2020 next season. Thank you for the time, Celta. We'll, we'll no keep problem. It. All right? Yes, sir. No problem. Anytime.